Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Pramod Thorath and this is CompTIA A plus core to exam practice test series part 9. So this part is also very helpful to pass the core to exam. So this practice test has also 10 questions. So before you get start, don't forget to subscribe this channel to see more video like this. So let's go to the questions. So the question number one, so which of the following devices are most likely to have a grounding wire attached to them based on the manufacturer's design? Choose two. So below are the options. Option A is UPS. Option B is a server rack. Option C is a PoE phone. Option D is a desktop printer. Option E is a modem. Option F is a patch panel. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer for this question is A and B. A is UPS and B is a server rack. So let's move to the next question, question number two. And the question number two is a technician had just finished installing a secondary OS on a workstation. After rebooting the computer, the technician received the following error No OS found. The technician confirms the boot.ini file is correct. So, which of the following is most likely causing this error? So option A is the computer has Grub legacy installed. Option B is the Windows startup services are not running. Option C is an incompatible partition is marked as active. Option D is an unsupported version of Windows is installed. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer for this question is C. An incompatible partition is marked as active. So let's move to the next question, question number three. And the question number three is a technician is installing a private PC in a public workspace. So which of the following password practices should the technician implement on the PC to secure network access? Option A is a remove the guest account from the administrator's group. Option B is a disable single sign on. Option C is a issue a default strong password for all users. Option D is a require authentication on wake up. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer for this question is D, require authentication on wake up. So let's move to the next question, question number four. So question number four, Joe, an employee, took a company issued Windows laptop home, but is having trouble connecting to any of the shares hosted on his home media server. Joe has verified he is connected to the internet. So which of the following would explain why Joe cannot access his personal shares? Option A is an IP conflict is present. Option B is a corporate VPN is enabled. Option C is a firewall exception must be set. Option D is a home group must be enabled. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer for this question is option D, home group must be enabled. So let's move to the question 5. So the question 5 is a user believes there is a virus on a laptop. The user installs additional real time protection antivirus software but is now experiencing extremely slow performance on the laptop. So which of the following should a technician to do resolve the issue and avoid recurrence? So option A is activate real-time protection on both antivirus software programs. Option B is uninstall one antivirus software program and install a different one. Option C is run OS updates. Option D is enable the quarantine feature on both antivirus software programs. Option E is a remove the user, install antivirus software. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer for this question is E, remove the user, install antivirus software. So let's move to the next question, question number six. And the question number six is a user who is running Windows XP calls a technician to upgrade the computer to a newer Windows OS. The user states that computer has only one GB of RAM and 16 GB of hard drive space with a 1.7 GHz processor. So which of the following OS should the technician recommend it to ensure the best performance on his computer? Option A Windows 7, Option B is a Windows 8, Option C Windows 8.1, Option D is a Windows 10. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer for this question is Option A Windows 7. So let's move to the next question, question number 7. And the question number seven is which of the following security methods best describes 
when a user enters a username and password once for a multiple applications option a is a sso single sign on option b is a permission propagation option c is a inheritance option d is a mfa so let's check the correct answer for this question and the correct answer for this question is option a ssa single sign on so let's move to the next question question number 8 and the question number 8 is a technician is setting up a kiosk the technician needs to ensure the kiosk is secure and users will have access to only the application needed for customer interaction the technician must also ensure that whenever the computer is rebooted or powered on it locks in automatically without a password so which of the following account times would the technician most likely set up on his kiosk machine option e is a guest option b is a administrator option c is a power user option d is a remote desktop user so let's check the correct answer for this question and the correct answer for this question is option a guest so let's move the next question question number 9 so question number 9 is a technician has been asked to recommend it antivirus software for a home pc but the user does not want to pay for a license so which of the following license type should the technician recommend it option e is a open license option b is a personal license option c is a corporate license option d is a enterprise license so the correct answer for this question is option a open license so let's move to the last question for this part question number 10 and the question number 10 is jo a systems administrator is setting up a risk management plan for the it department so part of the plan is to take daily backups of, of all servers the server backups will be saved locally to nas so which of the following can jo to do ensure the backups will work if needed so option e is a frequently restore the servers from backup files and test them option b is a configure the backups to restore to virtual machines for quick recovery option c is a set up scripts that automatically return failed backup jobs option d is a set up alerts to let administrator knows when backups fail option e is a store copies of the backups off site in a secure data center so let's check the correct answer for this question and the correct answer for the question is a frequently restore the servers from backup files and test them so this part has been completed i hope you are enjoying these videos so please like share and subscribe for more similar content i will upload next part shortly thanks for watching thank you